Hello YouTube, what is going on? Captain Nick 88 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create 2D gradient text for 2D intros in Panzer Clipmaker 2. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay guys, so we are now here in Clipmaker 2, and it is very simple. We're going to have three text layers total, and you could group all of these together. Um, so you can move them all together at the same time, I guess. But all you're gonna have to do is select this uh, toggle render preview button if you want to, and then add an uh, text object. I'm just gonna make this say template, and I'm gonna change the font to the bold font. It looks a little nicer. We're changing this thickness to zero, or it's gonna go back to default as one, and scale it to zero as well, and that'll go as uh, 0 0.001. We're going to enable the bevel, uh, don't change any of the other settings. Make this text white. So this is what it's going to look like at the beginning. I'm also going to duplicate this text and then we're going to disable the bevel and change the color to a gray, a gray color that looks kind of nice. It could be any gray color really, it could be like subtle or it could be kind of darker. Um, now that you've done this, all you can do is the rotation, go to negative 1.8, so the rotation is negative 1.8, and it'll go into split by half. Now it has this really nice white border around the gray, makes it look really, really nice, and the only thing left to do is to create the black border shadow. To do this, duplicate the first text, it just makes it a little bit easier to edit, and then you want to change the bevel size thickness to 2, the position to negative 0.5, and the other position to negative 0.1. And then you're going to change the color to black. At first, you're not going to be able to notice anything because of my background. But let's say if you were to change the background to any color that you want. For instance, I'm going to change it to... Um, see there see how that works but if let's say you change it to a whitish red or something to that effect you can get some really nice looking text for your intros and that is all for today if you guys uh if you like this tutorial make sure you drop a like the more likes i get the more tutorials i will do and comment uh tell me if this helped you down in the comment section uh also tell me other tutorials that you guys want to see but thank you guys for watching until next time peace and bye bye